Christine crew welcome back to my channel and this is my second time recording this video because I couldn't hear myself last time so today we're gonna be talking about how to start your own Etsy store and is Etsy really a reliable and good way to start your own business so are you here go ahead and like comment and subscribe make sure you follow your girl on Instagram on all the social medias below Go ahead and join the Christine crew. So go ahead and subscribe, sis. I'm gonna wait. All right, gave you a minute. Make sure you subscribe and join the Christine crew. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Welcome back. So today we're going to be covering basically what is Etsy? Can you make money on Etsy? Is it good enough to join Etsy or should you just opt into back in the website? So for you guys who do not know, I am Tracy Dooms. I am the owner of Christine Creations. Um, we specialize in wholesale, jewelry, bangles, cups, vinyl, t-shirts, clothing line coming soon, all that good stuff. So I did launch me an Etsy store, I want to say on July of 2020, and I'm going to screen record this so I can put it on either side of the screen so you guys can follow along with me. So in sales, I made $4,350 in my first month of being on Etsy. So your girl kind of almost banked five, five, five bins on Etsy her first month. Um, some of the things that come out of your Etsy money, so if you see, and I have taxes and fees, it's a negative. $891.75. With any website, with any e-commerce, anything, you're going to be charged per transaction. Sometimes you're going to be charged per product. So in Etsy's case, you are charged per product in the beginning. So when you first upload a new item, you're going to go ahead and pay the listing fee. The listing fee, I want to say, is about 5 to 10 cents. Do not quote me. But if I'm not mistaken, it's a couple cents, so it's not much. Once you pay your listing fee that's already out the way, then once you have someone to purchase from you, you do also pay a transaction fee. You pay a transaction fee on Shopify, Wix, any other big cartel, any other e-commerce website, you're gonna also pay a transaction fee. So there's nothing different there about that. The only thing that you're paying for differently than a website is probably the listing fee. Um, so I, all my listing fees for that month was $99. Marketing, I did sign up for Etsy's marketing um, to help promote my store. So I'm going to get into that a little bit later in the video. But I spent $125 on my Etsy marketing. Just off shipping labels alone was $432.51. I also did upgrade my store to Etsy Plus so I can get a little more analytics and a little more charts and kind of see what's selling and what's not. So it is imperative and I do recommend that you guys do upgrade your Etsy store to Etsy Plus which is $10 a month. Not bad. You get a little more insight on your business and what it's doing and what's selling and what's not selling. What are people looking at? What people are abandoning? That's also important in the business to know what is being abandoned. So you can know how to change or to put that item on sale. You never know. Also, in transactions, they only charge me $225.04. So, alone that month, I could I possibly took home, after all that stuff, probably close to $3,500. In my first month, my first month on my website, I did not make nowhere near that. Okay, maybe I made like a band when I first started in that month. So, that is totally different from the website. You know why? Because in Etsy, they do have built on marketing. You can also add Etsy marketing to your store. So, you pay like per couple products that you want to promote. It's uh, more on the lines of uh, Instagram, Facebook type of ad situation. Um, they promote it. I don't, I really don't all the analytics on how they promote it, but it does bring in sales. So that's the first thing I did do. I maximized anything SC offered when I first started, we took. So when they offer SC Plus, I signed up for it. When they offer marketing on SC, I signed up for it. So it's imperative that you do utilize the apps to their fullest capability. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what SC apps uh, ads look like. So I'm gonna also screen record that so you guys can see along with me. So it says you're advertising six listings with a budget of $5 a day. So it kind of breaks down um, your stats for, I really have not been posting anything on Etsy lately, 
But my stats for August 12th, I mean 17th through September 15th, I've had uh, 35,363 ad views. I had 480 ad clicks. I had four orders from the ads and the revenue was $60. So in the last 30 days, I spent $121.72 on ads. So the good thing with Etsy's um, ads, you won't get charged for that ad unless someone clicks the ad. It says you won't be charged unless a buyer clicks on the ad and visits the shop. So that's just how it does. It can run an ad all the time. But you will not get charged until somebody actually clicks and engages with your ad. Which is a good thing because when you pay on Instagram, it does not matter. Whatever budget you set is the budget that you set. Same thing with Facebook. You can add on, but you can't take off. The good thing about Etsy is they kind of monitor your ad throughout the whole process. From beginning to end. So that's one thing you can look into when you first start your Etsy store. Is to use it to the fullest capability. That is my number one, number one, number one piece of information and a piece of advice to you all is to always maximize the apps. Whatever e-commerce website you use, whatever website you use, it is imperative that you maximize that ad or that product. Also, with using Etsy, it was very much easier um, for me because we use Etsy here at Christine Creations is more as a of a Christine Creations outlet or like um discount store or like a discontinued catalog. So items that we don't normally sell on our website anymore will be found on our Etsy store. I will be updating our Etsy store soon. I am in the midst of moving. Your girl got her apartment. And I'm going to 18, so you guys will be seeing this on Wednesday, and today is Tuesday. So if you guys want to see a um, movie and vlog, comment below, let your girl know. Should I go ahead and record a little bit, a little something, something, something for y'all? Or do y'all want me not to record? It's okay, but yeah, anyways. So I do suggest you guys do invest and look into using your Etsy app. Again, Etsy is free to start off. Just open up your own Etsy store, it is free. You guys, you only pay for a listing and you only pay for marketing if you decide to opt into marketing. You do not have to upgrade to Etsy Plus. I chose to, due to the fact that I'm used to of heavy analytics and graphs because I do use Shopify. So I do look at my graphs, I do count my revenue, I do compare revenue from month to month. Every three months I do sit down and do a revenue breakdown and see have I lost money or have I gained money. So that is imperative to have as well when you are doing your Etsy stosis. So I do suggest if you are just starting up, you don't really have the funds to fully um, start your own website or to design your own website because that does take time if you don't have the time nor the money to invest into a uh, e-commerce website i do suggest etsy is a good mechanism for you guys as well to use to market and also to get your brand out there so i do suggest even if you do have a main website still have your etsy sources make that your discount store people don't have to know so look into that as well you guys also i will be doing another video um i think i'm going to have a posh mark um because i am going to be getting away giving getting away um throwing away moving away however you want to say it some of my clothes in my closet so instead of throwing them away because i have good clothes and a lot of clothes still have tags on them I will be creating a Poshmark and kind of giving you guys an update on Poshmark as well once I launch that fully. Um, so we can see if we make some money off of Poshmark. That'll be another video for you for me to do for you guys to compare the apps. Also, if you guys need more information on this Etsy situation, Etsy process, comment below. Your girl will make another video more in depth on how to use Etsy. If not, I'm glad you guys tuned in. I wanted to make this a very quick and to the point video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Remember to shop Christine Creations, and that's on period. If you ain't shopping with Christine Creations, you ain't in the Christine, Christine crew, okay? And that's on period. Also, you guys, be prepared. Black Friday is coming, and we're dropping deals like no other. Also, I told them I will be launching on Black Friday, so I will start vlogs on our process on choosing clothes, going through the inviting vendors as well. Last but not least, I love you guys so much. Roll the 5K. When I record this video, I want to say I was at 4.4K. I want to say that's probably what it is. I'm going to get back on track, you guys. I know my views have been down because your girl been off.
schedule. So we back on schedule. If you didn't know, now you know our new recorded schedule is a Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. You're gonna see you on those days. I love you guys so much. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later, Christine Crew. Bye.